Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Trading Secrets. This channel is for entertainment purposes only. For those of you who do not know, my name is Ali. I have over 20 years experience teaching accounting, economics, business and law. And through this channel, I'll be providing some stock analysis and a quick update on the million dollar challenge. So if anybody's not aware of this, this is a journey of an investment of $1,000 to a return of $1 million over a period of three years using a strategy called compound return investing. So the objective is to try to get 201 trades each with an average return of 3.5 percent it's not 201 consecutive trades we do take into account losses so for further details about how to join us in the challenge for little as nine dollars a month and also get access to our exclusive in-depth strategy video information is available in the description below in the previous video we did an update on Tiximal MMTLP and also did an update on Tiximal SAVA Cassava Sciences so please refer back to the previous video for those important updates in today's video we're going to be looking at some uh, issues with regard to MMTLP what's going on with regard to the S1 so I'm going to be sharing uh, an insight and some unconfirmed news with uh, the S1 and I'm also going to be looking at uh, the issue of uh, FUD versus facts, and obviously at the end of that I'll let everybody make their own mind up uh, so before we do that let's have a quick look at what's happening in the markets it was a very important day today so a quick headline here from Reuters we can see what's happened today is the Fed has raised uh, the rates by uh, approximately 75 BPS and it's, we're now in the range of 3 to 3.25% uh, the terminal rate is seen as hitting 4.6% by 2023, so the outlook is not great. In this, the index is in line with what happened, have uh, not responded positively. We have seen significant declines. Uh, so let's have a look at the overall heat map for close of play today. And again, you can see uh, here across all sectors, almost a clean uh, sweep of red, uh, with the exception of one or two stocks, uh, including NVIDIA, which has just traded uh, just above uh, 0.6% but everything else including Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, Tesla in the red today so not a good day for the market. I'm going to start by having a look at S1 approval or potential approval it's not yet happened so I'm going to start by giving a shout out here to Dem Ray who's uh, initially tagged in George and said I hope you're well uh, will we get word from you this week concerning MMTLP many people were expecting this to, to be approved last we close a play on Friday. It didn't happen, including myself. I was expecting it to be hopefully on Friday, but uh, we are still waiting. So he's also said here, we know that it's a long time. Shareholders, uh, top shareholders will get rewarded, but the long wait is uh, an everyday mental challenge. So fully agree with Demaray here. I think many people who uh, I've been holding initially, especially from the time of Torch, have uh, been waiting and uh, they did expect this to be um, uh, resolved by now. Uh, he's gone on further in the thread to tag in uh, John Berda as well. So, and he's now said, is it possible for Nextbridge to create a Twitter account where we get direct information and discussions? Because I think most people will agree communication is uh, one of the difficulties and something that is quite limited at the moment. Uh, now, George did not respond, but John has uh, responded and he's just basically said, I would assume that a uh, will once the spin out happens. So no uh, giveaways there. Uh, but one thing that I would like to add on following on from this um, uh, from an unconfirmed source, completely unconfirmed, I have uh, been told that uh, the S1 is not going to be approved. There is going to be more comments, more feedback required by the SEC. We will wait and see. Hopefully we'll get news of this very, very soon. Uh, and it may be more questions required with regard to the oil and gas assets. But again, unofficial, unconfirmed uh, from an unconfirmed source. What I now like to do is look at the issue of facts versus FUD and uh, at the end of the uh, video and hopefully you cannot make your own mind up and make your own judgments. I do believe that everybody is entitled to their own opinions but let's have a look at uh, what, uh, the beginning here starting with a shout out to Slick Roads who commented here. Thanks Ali for clearing that up. I thought you meant original holders of Torch. The way you said it in the video, keep up the great work, uh, keeping us informed on MMTLP. So just to clarify what Slick Roads is talking about, in one of my previous videos, I said everybody, all the original holders of uh, MMTLP will get uh, the spin out benefits. And uh, what I actually meant by that is uh, if you buy MMTLP on the open market, then as far as I'm concerned, you're an original holder. So people who are not original holders will be the shorts. So shorts are not entitled to the spin out. Shorts are not uh, entitled to any shares in Nextbridge, which will be the private company. 
and uh, what I'm now going to do here give a shout out to Rob Bur uh, uh, Burgundy and what he said here is that it's only original holders from Torchlight per George who is the CEO of Meta Materials he will give us max value only from Torch so what Rob is basically saying here is that he does not believe that people buying MMTLP are going to get the special dividend he believes everything what he said here is in the hand of George George is going to make the decision George is going to make give us maximum value and he's now basically suggesting that people who are buying MMTLP on the open market are buying something worth, worthless uh, we know it's going to be stop we know it will stop trading uh, so let's dig a little bit digger into Rob's theory and whether or not you wish to believe it or you wish not to believe it so the next shout out here is to Craig Dubbs and what he said is this becoming trader I believe will be the uh, best thing that has ever happened to me so I do agree that that is potentially true although in my personal opinion I am an actual original holder of the original uh, preference shares from Torchlight Energy but uh, as far as I'm concerned it's good luck to everybody who is now able to buy MMTLP and in my personal opinion I think everybody who buys MMTLP will get any spin out benefits uh, and also the common stock in uh, Nextbridge hydrocarbons but let's uh, look at some further analysis of this uh, Rob's also commented here and what he said if Meta say the OTC is unrelated don't you believe them question mark they are paying torch holders only for next bridge to my understanding in the filings why would they give everybody a ticket to our private company when it's not a way in only 165.5 million shares will be given and that's from torch so rob here is uh, coming up again with these theory so one thing that i will say I'll, I'll, I'll try and present the other side but rob is uh, sticking to his guns here uh, and suggesting that everybody who is an original holder of um, the preference shares from the um, previous year of uh, holding Torchlight Energy, such as people including myself, are the only ones getting it. So uh, if we take another, uh, let's say, a, a skeptic's point of view of this, a skeptic may say that uh, some people on the other side, such as maybe hedge funds or shorts, their intention is to drive down the price of MMTLP in order for them to get it cheap. So how do you do that? You would do that by creating fear you do that by creating uncertainty you do that by creating doubt how can you do that you you can do that by creating suggestions and fear that if you buy mmtlp you're getting something worth worthless so that uh creates a little bit of, bit of a, what we call a benefit of doubt so some people who believe in rob think that rob is not out there to rob you but rob is out there to maybe educate you we don't know so if rob is rob's intention is to drive down the price of MMTLP, maybe that's working. He, he does have a significant following, so uh, he's entitled to his opinion. I respect his opinion. I'm not certainly not going to call Rob an imbecile. I think Rob is uh, quite intelligent, uh, but uh, I think you should make your own mind up. So remember what Rob has said, and what I'm now going to share with you is with information from the S1 or the S1A, which I, whichever one you want to wish to look at, and this is with regard to when and how you will receive shares of common stock. So according to the S1 issued by the company, it says here, Meta will distribute the holders of its Series A preferred stock as a pro rata dividend, uh, one share of common stock for every share of Series A preferred stock out outstanding as of, uh, again, we have blank dates, if you own Series A preferred stock of Meta as of the close of blank, you are entitled to the receiving distribution will be issued to your account as follows. So the whole number of shares of our common stock you receive in the distribution by way of direct registration in book entry form. So the key thing I want you to focus on now is the statement here. If you hold Series A preferred sh stock, you will get uh, uh, obviously a return of um, distribution of Nextbridge so that's what they're saying here uh, you'll get one share of Nextbridge for one share of MMTLP so let's say let's now have a look at this share that Rob is saying doesn't qualify what does it say it says here uh, preferred shares P-R-E-F I'm not sure if Rob knows what that stands for but P-R-F-E was going to stand for preferred S-H-S is going to stand for shares so is he saying this is when it says preferred shares, he's saying it's not preferred shares. It's something completely different. The company are misleading us. Google are misleading us. The SEC are misleading us. And Rob is saying these are not preferred shares.
What I'm now going to do is share with you some uh, posts and uh, opinions and statements from John Berda. So remember, we just looked at the opinion of uh, Rob. What Rob is basically saying is everybody who gets those preferred shares, which he's saying are not preferred shares, those um, uh, that people will end up with something valueless and worth nothing. That's what he's basically saying, unless obviously you sell it before it closes. Uh, so uh, one of the things that basically Rob is implying uh, is um, he's implying that John Berger is lying. And if John Berger is lying, then uh, one thing that I will say is that John Berger is, uh, you could say, is a dead man walking. And the reason why he's a dead man walking is the amount of litigation, the amount of court cases, the amount of people who will be taking John Berger to court will be un probably unprecedented. So we're looking at uh, significant allegations of misrepresentation, significant allegations of false uh, facts, uh, for significant allegations of reasons purely based on John's statements here for people buying MMTLP. So what this is what basically Rob is implying, that he's implying that John Berder is a dead man walking. And the reason why he's a dead man walking is because John Berda is basically one of the reasons why people are buying MMTLP. He has said you will get the shares in Nextbridge. So people are following John's statements. And so let's get confirmation that of what John is saying and why people have been following John's statements. So first of all, September the 9th, he said, Fidelity response is wrong. Read the S1. Preference will be cancelled. Next will be next bridge will be private with no trading market, no DTC eligible, therefore no way to clear. So again, quick reminder, one of the imbeciles did say it's not going to be private. So um, John has confirmed it's private. So that's first statement that they could say John is wrong on. The next one, July the 15th, going back, if you haven't sold your shares via MMTLP, so he's talking about that preferred stock that John, um, um, uh, Rob sorry, doesn't agree with. I elect to go long. Nextbridge, you are now an owner in Nextbridge and their management team will decide the course of action. So according to Rob, this is another false statement. This is another lie. Is Rob saying that John is mistaken or is John saying, uh, oh, sorry, is Rob saying that John is uh, misleading everybody out there on Twitter? Stay private, go public. Uh, sell pay dividends all up to next bridge so that's what john's saying but remember uh, rob is disagreeing with john so john is now said on june the, uh, 23rd you won't be able to cover a shot in mmtlp by buying mm80 so this is another uh, fud created by many people saying uh, that this is not true so many people are saying um, obviously you know uh, to cover you must buy MMTLP but what John Berder is saying uh, obviously that yes that is correct but what you can't do is cover by buying MMAT so again um, strong statement here so everybody who disagrees with this is uh, coming up with strong allegations here with regard to John Berder saying he's spreading FUD himself so remember John Berder was a previous insider I believe he still has uh, strong information that is credible uh, and now let's have a look at his other statement here from June the 16th he's tagged in a few other people here and he says I don't know why this is so hard to understand we're looking at 165 million shares of series a preferred stock and uh, uh, the BD's got together listed them without our knowledge or approval at that point the cat is out of the bag you can buy or sell Series A preferred shares. So he is saying that the intention was for the original people to get that. And what Rob is saying that that's how it is remaining. But what John is now saying that this is now changed. It changed once it was on, once it was released for sale. So he's saying he doesn't know anything about it. But he is saying now the situation has changed. What that basically means is people who are now buying it will be entitled to the dividend. I do agree that was not the original intention. I personally think this, what's happened is wrong, but it's the reality, so we have to accept it. Uh, and finally, uh, let's have a look at the other statement here, going back to June the 16th, uh, tagged in here with uh, from Angela, shout out to Angela. She says that people got money from selling shares of MMTLP, get the money and still get the dividend because they are torched legacy holders. So that's a quite important question and statement there. Uh, and John Berda now has clarified how to respond to June the 16th said they do not. So what he's saying here is 
if you sell MMTLP, you do not get next bridge. You do not get spin out benefits. Very clear statement. So is this a lie? Is this a mistake? Is this an error or is this fraud? We don't know. But according to Rob, this is a lie or incorrect. He, he's got to make an allegation now that John is misleading everybody. So that is one of the reasons why people uh, are buying because of clarifications here from John Berda. Sell your Series A via the ticket MMTLP. You no longer get the Series A pref and you would not get the divvy. I mean, how clear do you want it? So you either say John Berda is in trouble. People are going to sue him left, right and centre. He is going to be bankrupt, possibly homeless, possibly on the street. The amount of people or is Rob right? And finally, remember, you must make your own mind up. You're completely free and able to uh, agree with Rob. You're also completely free and are able to agree with the situation with regard to what John Berda is posting. Remember, John Berda was a key insider. He claims no longer to be a key insider, but uh, I think he, he, he's one of the biggest holders of MMTLP. He will certainly know what's going on. Uh, obviously, he'll be limited in terms of what he can share. Uh, and finally, uh, one thing I will say to Rob is, uh, Rob, if you want to be clear and open and transparent, I'm happy to give you a platform on the channel for uh, giving a response. If you want to give your responses through a catfishing method, uh, that's, the, that, that's not clear, that's not transparent. Come on the channel, happy to give you a platform. Let's see who you are. Um, let's see your face and uh, present your facts. The, the, you know the invitation is there for you if you are clear and uh, you you want to present your facts let's see who you are finally thank you very much for watching please stay tuned